Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. It's 2 a.m. and if you're following the saga from yesterday's episode, I'm still a little uncomfortable due to the centipede sighting. However, I figured I'd record one more. I don't know. I can't let this bug dictate my life, you know? How you doing? How's it going? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. This is my fourth episode today. I've been feeling it. Today I'm gonna- I, today I swear I will play better than yesterday. Although I don't feel like we lost a whole lot, I still don't feel great about it either. I give myself one. Last time that happened, I was it was early in the run that it happened though, so it wasn't so bad. That one I just realized my mistake a moment too late. Anyway, hope you're doing well today, hanging in there. I'm doing fine. I am a little tired, but I got one more in me, I think, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Then like, wow, I have I have. Into the Breach and Monster Train recorded through, like, was it? It's like through Friday or some shit. I got a lot of episodes. Oh, no, I, this is four, so, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I got Wednesday. Through Wednesday, done. That's a lot. I have to do some other stuff with my day. Weird. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to ask you as a pertinent question how you feel about bugs. I personally have a very big live and let live policy, even though it leaves me a little uncomfortable at times when I see like a spider or a centipede, because I know that those those two kinds of bugs, I mean, most of them really, they're not bad. Like I'm not gonna get bit by this centipede in my sleep and transform or anything like that, but I still feel uncomfortable, but I know that he's probably good for the environment and such. So I, I leave him go. I also feel a little bad. Uh, killing them, like especially things like flies, I feel very bad about. I can't tell you why. I just, you know, the you know the phrase wouldn't hurt a fly. That's actually me. When I see a fly, I try to let it outside. I don't think there's a bug that I despise. Maybe like hornets. They're they're asking for these hands though. Me versus a hornet one on one. I'm fist fighting it. All right, anyway, <laughs> never mind that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Excel Stygian Melting, Double Barrel, Failure, Chased Offering Token, Giraffe, Ice Storm. Shout out the centipede that fell off my wall in yesterday's episode. That dude gave me content today. Uh, this clan combo is terrible, by the way. This shit's abysmal. I'm gonna pick Forever Flame. My game plan here is to close my eyes and pretend Soul Guard doesn't exist. Cuddlebeard? Sure. Or actually Pyrestone Housing is pretty good too. Cuddlebeard's kind of calling your shot on hitting Hot Shark, but I can look pretty heavily for him. And he does kind of solo win the run? Yeah. Cuddlebeard is good because if I pick that and I see Hot Shark, I win. Like it's, it's not really a question, it just is a W. This is... This is going to be a pretty criminal level of enchanting, though. We are... So sometimes I will see a run like this and I'll go, Oh, well, I'm going to play incant here because I think I can make it work. I can't make it work here. This is not a run recoverable for incant. You started with draft on top of all this other shit. It's not fixable. That looks fine. Yeah. Like, you're not incanting this, you know? Ice Storm is nice here. I... I will redraw it. Guaranteed. If I play Steward, Steward, Drag. I have to hit Ice Storm again. I have no choice. There's ten cards I draw. Oh my god, wait, there is a choice. Weight of Contrition, of course. That doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Despite this, I still drew it, but... Okay, I mean, th this is a run, to be 100% real with you, this is a run that should do an infinite. Will I do an infinite? I don't know. I'm gonna pick on name tone. Molded. Molded is one of the infinite pieces. I think it's good all, all around. I... Uh, pretty heavily believe in Stygian banners here. I'm looking for the shark. Oh, hoo, hoo, that's not good. 
I will not be picking a siren here. Light's Gift is good. Champion Gain's attack is good. I mean, Light's Gift is just one of the most powerful relics in the game. Unless you're playing Thorned Hollow. Nah. Can my deck even take a minus one right now? Ice Storm and Molded. I have two cards that cost anything. Hmm. I feel surprisingly strong here. Like, I think this should feel very bad, but... I don't know, it seems fine to me. Unless... It's entirely possible that I don't unfaze Soulguard here and I get slaughtered. Okay, it's fine. I'm fine, don't worry. Greg goes here. Why didn't I reform draft? I didn't feel like it. Next question. I don't I don't think it matters, is the actual answer. And I don't believe that matters too much here. Yeah, we just play you get rid of the train stewards and then we just stack up our frostbite. Frostbite will kill this boss for you. Foregone power, as much as I love to hate it, and I do love to hate it, is it is a god awful card. It is a plank tier card. It is very good at a time like this. Thank you, Ice Storm, for not missing. For what it's worth. Okay. Ah, uh, he lived at one there. And, uh, good stuff. Trial grabbed. Ice Tornado sounds unplayable here. Absolutely terrible. I think I need to get a damage spell going, but, like, god, I don't want to pick any of these. I should take Crystallis. I just don't want to. Whiplash for Burnout Extension is fine. I don't need stealth. I have Light's Gift. This is covered. I'm gonna go Whiplash here. Oh, oh, god. Wickless Baron, Icy Silophite, Wickless Tycoon. Ugh. Is this the time that Icy Silophite would work with the Soul Guard? Icy Silophite, you don't need Quick either because of Light's Gift. You just need, like, Multi Strike plus 25. The idea would be to reform her. I don't really like it though. Unless I could, I could play like Icy Silophite and then look for the Baron Infusion. That sounds fine. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. The card says sweep. It has to be good eventually. Baron or Paraffin Enforcer Infusion, either one. Legion of Wax. In this economy? This unit became a lot worse. I'm gonna pick Paraffin Enforcer. Paraffin Enforcer infusion on a sweeper sounds fine. And then we're gonna go... I need a Wicklash Holdover. Double stack. Not really what I was looking for. That's okay though. I'm gonna make Crystallis do 35 times too. Show me something cool in the caverns. How does this run kill many bosses? It doesn't. I'll take Petrified Skull. I'm becoming a Petrified Skull believer. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money. Being able to reroll the next shop is good. If this run sees, again, if this run sees Hot Shark, I think it wins. I think everything turns into 3W as soon as you show me a shark who is hot. But until you show that to me, we are struggling. If he dies, that's okay. He's in here drag? Oh. I don't know that guy. This is all fine, trust me. If you're worried right now, hey, wait, you just killed your Icy Silophite, don't you worry, brother. I'm aware. Look at that Ice Storm, don't you worry. Sorry, I had to, I was overcome with a need to cough. It's the centipede crawling inside of me. I can feel it. It's not that, don't worry. I'm still, uh... 
I'm still me. Smile. We go drag drag here. The play here is yeah yeah yeah. And then I'm gonna kill two of the clergy. The train steward kills the one HP enemy. I don't believe that Soul Guard will beat this boss on his own. And numerically, that just doesn't sound correct to me. So, yeah, he's a 45, 45, and the boss is gonna be like, yeah, oh, he's 9? Wait, why is he 9? Weird. The number feels like it should be higher. The problem is that I can't. I need to put uh, Frostbite, but. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Huh, 10 damage. How can I defeat the boss? We will see. It's gonna be through Wicklash Molded, actually, here. Molded brings back. Who? Aerithman Enforcer, I think? Three rounds, 30 HP, that looks ideal. The The best unit here is Paraffin Enforcer, because he goes in front with Wicklash. Am I dead? I think I'm dead anyway. Oh, super dead. Let me try this again. What did I do wrong in this combat? I don't know. Where do we begin? I think it's probably Wicklashing the Scylla fight is where I went wrong here. Let's try just leaving her alive. The problem is that she's just a 110 and that sounds very bad. Oh, what if I was supposed to just play Paraffin Enforcer? The problem is... Hmm. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to play this. I have no clue what I was supposed to do here. This combat's a mystery. Was I supposed to play around Paraffin Enforcer? Is Scylla fight so doomed? I don't know. I mean, probably. Look at her. I got hit there. It's fine. I don't have the, uh, the ability to care. Yours here, discard unnamed tome, Crystallis goes in. Okay, now it's it's fine. Trust me. We're gonna power down. I don't, I don't I don't actually think it's fine. I think it's very doomed, but it's fine, trust me. Oh wow, you cannot take that. What the hell? No, I think the actual answer to how do I survive this combat is... I think I have to Petrified Skull the Protector. I, I kind of knew this. It's a shame. It's a real shame. But I think you have to Petrified Skull here. This guy ruins you. So to win this, I need to put up Frostbite. But he blocks all of the Frostbite, so... It's a shame. I'm sad to see it go, but... You gotta do what you gotta do to survive out here. That's all there is to it. This isn't a play... It's not a play that I like to make, you know? But I, I kind of knew that as well when I looked at it last time, but I didn't want to accept it. I wanted to find the cool way out, but no. You gotta make the sacrifice. I go Ice Empire. Man. I'll take Cold Kalia over Icy Silophite. I'll take card draw. One last chance. Show me something playable. Endless? Oh, tell me it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Hey, there's an infinite here. Hey, there it is. Hey, the game just said, oh, you want to play Endless Hot Shark? Here's your infinite, you fucking bitch. Hey, you want to win this run? Here's Offering Monument. You know what, Monster Train? Fuck you. I'm not doing that. I'm not that guy anymore. 
I'm not that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. We got Endless Shark. He is very strong. 105, I think it's worth the reroll. Yeah, I lose out on quick, but who cares? I wasn't gonna play that shit anyway. We got a little bit more of a mountain to climb here, but... Like, without holdover, this is terrible. This is absolutely abysmal, putting Burnout onto my sweeper here. Uh, is it game losing? I don't know, man. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I... Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm 65 pack shots. This looks so doomed. Holy moly. This looks abysmal. But I have this endless shark, so it can't be all that bad. However... Counterpoint 2, it can't be all that bad. I did not play a single spell on turn 1. Clash? Oh. Oh, it's so bad. It's always so bad, too. Like, I keep playing it thinking this time is gonna be good. It's always terrible. It's good if I get two of them with multi-strike, but that's a far ways away. God, Forgone Power, you're such a piece of shit. Are you kidding me? Come on, Forgone Power. Hey, Soulguard, how do you feel about coming out of stasis today? I did pick up Ice and Fire. At least there's that. Uh, you take the little, the little victories here, I suppose. We're at nine, so Soulguard's out next turn. Just in time to waste his attack on a ten on a twenty-five HP enemy. Never mind, I have helical crystals. I look. Have I played this exact run idea multiple times by now? Of course I have. How does it go? I, look, man. I'm not here to tell you that this isn't a winning line. I'm just here to play the video game. It'll work eventually. You gotta believe me. I should just put Forgone Power on him. Of course you're only gonna play on him. This is the time that Cold Kalia really gets to go in. You're gonna see what how Forgone Power. But like how though? Okay, there you go. On that one it didn't. It didn't matter, but it always discards itself. Crystal and seeds, it's an incant, which is all I really need right now. The bar is pretty low. I don't need endless. I do need wicked plays. If this run has, like, I don't know, enough time to shape up, I need, like, three rings of time to shape up. Let's go left. Or hold over. We could get hold over here. It's extremely hold overable. Right here. You ready? Boom. No? Okay. It's better for the narrative if I don't get it. You gotta you gotta struggle before you can run. I'm gonna go extreme stone ice storm here. I know it's 80 pack shards, it's very scary. Self if if, if I play self-made harpy, I know where I'm going. It's not that big of a, a deal. If I see self-made harpy, I know what I know what's happening. It doesn't matter if I'm at 65 or 80, I'm being gone. Alright, this should be fine. Multi-strike helps me as well. Turn 1 infused tank will be very bad though. Yep, that's terrible. Yep, that's uh... That's going to be a lot of damage. I might be dead? Am I dead? I think I'm dead. I have to play the drag. I can't play the train steward. Pretty frostbite. That's an enemy that does 30 damage. Huh. It's a lot. Well, I put myself in this position with good reason. What am I doing? Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> I see what I've done wrong here. I feel like I need to play these units out, but I also feel like I can't. A weird catch-22 here. Playing that train steward was obviously pretty bad. Some of them I feel like are kind of important. Oh god. No way. No way. I didn't draw... I didn't draw Ice Empire, Crystallis, or Ice Storm? Oh man. That's a crime. Sixty-seven. I don't feel dead. I take one hit of thirty. That's criminal, man. Holy moly. They're all at the bottom of the deck. It's okay, here comes a Wicked Blaze. Here comes Ice Storm. I have done it. I have... Have indeed done it. Dolgard is unfazed, everyone. Please give a round of applause to our hero, Soulguard. He is now out of stasis. It only took him uh, until the boss spawned, pretty much. Get him, buddy. You win that. Let him know. Talk to him, boss. Talk your shit, Soulguard. Lord knows I'm gonna talk my shit about Soulguard, so. I'm an equal opportunity lender here. <laughs> yeah, lender. Sure. Shout out to the unit that makes this entirely possible, by the way. Without Shark, this run ended last last combat, no doubt. Multiloader is not good. It makes the run worse. You gotta let the Shark do his thing. Alright, I was rubbing my eye. Uh, Crystalline Seeds is fine. Same idea. Stealth is worthless. Fatal Melting, Secret Wicks. Fatal Melting falls off. Another Reform card is okay. How often does this Reform and we make it matter? I don't think it does. It doesn't seem right. Alright, I need Multi Strike, please. Hello, Monster Train. Multi-strike. If I get multi-strike, this shit's over with anyway. I don't want to go plus 10 just to give her better base attack, but... Okay, it's it's winnable. It's multi-strikeable. I'm gonna go burn out one here. We hit the multi-strike. How about an intrinsic? An intrinsic? Okay. I'm gonna do it on Wicklash, but this might be really bad if Wicklash is late. The choice is already made, so we might as well carry on. I was like, ah, oh, well, maybe I could talk about this a little more. The choice is made. I locked it in. Is there anything else I want here? No. There we go. This will be hard. But, possible. Hey, look at that, we didn't turn one loose. That's nice. What a great turn one. Okay. So she's a 16 times 2. If I see Holdover, this run is actually 1. That's what's crazy about it now. All the other players are in place. I need Holdover Wicklash so that my unit doesn't burn out, and then I need a second one of it. And... I mean, it'd be nice to have Soulguard out of stasis in the next combats, but I don't think he's coming out. I might not even go Soulguard 3 on Titan Channel, as good as Titan Channel is. Like, how do I... How do I get third Titan Channel out? How do I cast- I can't cast 10 spells, how do I cast 15, right? I think the answer is I don't. Oh my god, these incants have been brutal. I 
Okay, importantly... Pardon me. Play Wicked Blaze first. Don't draw Wicked Blaze here. Play Storm, fine, you can draw that. Legal draw. Fine. Now I have a lot of chances to draw my reform. I do draw my reform. I get the Cold Kalia back in time. I want to play her bottom four. I think she needs to be everywhere. Holy shit, Soulguard is still phased. Soulguard, wake up. Wait, Soulguard, wake up. My oh, man. Help him out. The draft just pulls up and does a AD. Maybe I could have gotten more frostbite down, but I mean, look at this. It doesn't look so bad. Keep playing spells top four. It's mostly just habit. It's just it's just habit to play on the floor with incant, even if the incant is worthless like this. All right. Soul guard. Do your best, buddy. I don't know what else I can say to him. Do your best, buddy. He's doing his best, by the way. Him, right there, that soul guard, he's doing his best. I think the best thing to play here is actually the shark. And then, if I want more damage, I bring back the draft for... Like, 440. There you go. I give this run, like, a... 20% chance of survival. That might be a little generous, to be honest with you. Ice Empire, I'm... Uh, Wax and Spike is weird, because it's... it's fine. It's fine. Probably. But the problem is that Solgard doesn't have Burnout, right? So if you put Burnout on Solgard, he's going to die. That's not good. I'm going... am I going energy? I don't think I am. This deck doesn't have an energy problem. I don't need space either. I go double draw. That feels pickable. Okay, I have no more... Oh, I'm going left, I guess. I was gonna say, I was just gonna open it up and say I have no more steel shop upgrades to hit, but I clicked left on accident anyway. Everyone, please say it with me now. Hold over. Hold over. Hold over. <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> Tragic. Okay, don't let it weigh you down. Stay positive, everyone. It's still fine. Smile. Don't forget to smile. What if I picked Penitent Remains? I, every time I say this, I just feel unhinged. If I added three dead weights to my deck to make Cold Kalia start at 16 times two, yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure if you go Titan Channel 3, he never comes out. I'm gonna go Cold Channel 1. That feels terrible. That feels atrocious. Is it? Look, I'm just being sure on the pack shards. Is it possible for this run? I don't think so. I, no, no matter what, right? Intrinsic is fine. Is it possible for me to miss 10 pack shards because I can't do anything? Intrinsic purge uh, plus 10 piercing. I can do something with each of those. I'd say it's a little scary as well, but it's fine. I have not recorded a run this late in a while. I you get, like, tired. I get tired anyway. I don't know where it came from. Kinda weird though. I, I mean, I guess I've gained an appreciation for what I will be doing after this episode is done recorded, which is or done recording, which is going to bed. Because I was like, I was kind of melancholy. I was like, ah, I don't really feel like doing anything, but I don't really feel like going to bed. That was about 1:30ish. I was feeling that way. Now here I am, I can't wait to go to bed. Should play draft. Come on, man. 
Really gonna do this to me? Die from three spikes? I bet you are. <laughs> the light skiff, not the light skiff, the other one. What's it called? Vapor Funnel. Might have been a, a strong pickup here. I mean, Vapor Funnel is always a strong pickup, but it might have been a little better here. Oh, he stays, yeah. Okay. Like I said, I need to go to bed. I picked Cold Channel when I have uh, enemies that get dazed on top floor. You might sound this, you might think this sounds very bad, but I think it's actually fine. Mm. You're done. Here is fine. Oh, there's just ice and pie. It's all good. I did blow my silence without really thinking about it, but I think it's okay. I'm also maybe drawing fast enough now, which would be weird. I think I am drawing fast enough though for Cold Kalia. Oh, it's a multi-strike trample, yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, I'm getting my skull caved in. out of here, train steward. Go on vacation. Am I dead here? No. How am I not dead here? I'll take it. Uh, nah. Mortal entrapment is close. Yeah, I think that card is good. Man, I was not sure if I should have said card there. I really said card and then it went, oh man. Is that the right word? Yeah, that's the right word. Don't worry, buddy. Hold over. Hold over. Hold over. You ready? Hold over. Okay. Terrible news, everyone. Everyone, I, I hate to have to share this with you. It's a, it's a GG. We lost. What would you duplicate here? I think it's probably Wicklash anyway. Do I have a minus one still sitting here? No. I'm gonna go Intrinsic, Permafrost, Duplicate Wicklash. That's where I'm heading with this one. And... Okay. I don't need to buy a plus 10. No. The only thing here that's pickable is mold braces, but I'm gonna buy a bunch of removals. I have two train stewards still in my run, goddammit. Get these things out of here. I don't think I mind the dregs and the drafts all that much. I don't think they're worthy of getting caught right away. I'm gonna kill a foregone power. I'm gonna kill two foregone powers. Now, I am short five. That's fine. No deal. What card do I never want to see again? It's foregone power. I'm gonna go down to two foregone powers. Okay, Seraph, you ready? 68 HP. I, I think that I would put our odds of winning at very low. I never self-infused the shark. I've just kind of been coasting on the Cuddlebeard, right? Or did I self-infuse the shark? I don't remember. I did not. I've been coasting. I drew two foregone powers turn one. Gross. Permafrost pays out though. Great news everyone. I played this run out very poorly, I have to say. When I lose this, you cannot blame anyone but me. Because I just like... This is, this is the run that should not have made it. I shouldn't have played this run. I never should have come here. 
I'm way too tired to give this a good call of it, I feel. And so now I've, I'm, I'm gonna feel a little bit of shame over the course of the remainder of the run. Because, like, tactically, I should have two of this cold Kalia with multi strike, right? I should have duped her somewhere. And then, oh, I had to take space if I wanted to do that, though. Well, I could have also got rid of my champion. I don't know, man. Do I seem like I know what the hell's going on here? No. Sure. But also... I'm gonna put it on bottom floor. You might not agree. I don't know if I care. I mean... But why? Yeah. But why? Yeah, 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 yeah. But why? I was about to go into this whole spiel about how... Oh god, it puts the burnout on him anyway? Oh, that's a whoops. Oh, I even think I mentioned that last time I saw that. Oh, wow, that's so bad. Okay. I mean, that's like... It is just run losing, to be fair. To, be, to keep it 100% real with you, that's a loss. I will die to Seraph now. I think I was probably dying to Seraph anyway, since I'm playing Rage and Frostbite into him. But... We'll replay after I die. We can give it a little more of a thought. Okay. The real victim here is this drag I just let live for way too long. 39 Frostbite days. Maybe if I get out of this fight after making like the greatest mistake of my life, that would be incredible. If you reform Soulguard, I have no idea what happens if you reform Soulguard when he's phased. I'm very curious, but we're gonna find out. I think the burnout will transcend. I think the burnout will go over the phasing, but I don't really know. Okay. Okay. I misplayed this, yeah. It's fine, I'm sure it'll be okay. Okay, Soulguard, what happens here? He does burn out. But you can't put Whiplash on him, huh? Good try, Soulguard, good try. So the Shark is just better than Soulguard here. Ah, uh, wait, but I should have played. I shouldn't have played. If I want to play Mortal Entrapment. Mm. Well, I'll play it anyway. No reason not to. Numerically, I don't think this works out for me, but... I don't know. It's fun to try it. I think. 826. That doesn't look like enough to me. What about if I put a draft in here, though? What happens now? You know, 8... Oh, wait a minute. Mortal Entrapment? The draw? Come on, man. I mean, that's... it's death for sure. The Frostbite's way too high. There's no way he lives, but that's like, come on, man. One round off of taking zero here. 75. Fuck you. Right. No chance. No shot we survived this, but... You know, I, I think it's it's about the story at this point. And the story is I needed a second sire or a second cold Kalia. I needed to see like four more duplicates than I saw. Because I saw zero, I'm pretty sure. Not like they weren't there, I just didn't go to them. I'm not saying that this run is unwinnable. But I am saying that this run does not seem very winnable. Mortal Entrapment is about to do everything in its power to try and keep us alive in a, in a cold, uncaring reality such as this. Man, why did I not self-infuse Young Shark? 
That would be so good here. Nine. What a hand. Blood drags. They win this crest. Oh, one of them actually got to take a swing. Incredible. How do I kill this unit? I will not be answering your questions. Uh, don't care, didn't ask, is the answer. How do I kill him? Mm, who are you? What makes you think you can talk to me? I don't remember giving, giving you the okay. I draft, get in there and die gloriously. If I could somehow kill this mini boss, keep my old Kaylee alive, not die in the next two rounds, and, and you know, also do a standing backflip. If I could achieve all of those feats, then I think this would be winnable. The real killer is that Cold Kalia dies, though. I was just going to reform her, but I need the rage. I need to draw Mortal Entrapment here to have a chance. Hey, I have a chance. Hold. Okay, so like, obviously you have the Mortal Entrapment, the boss, right? No doubt. Following that, you have the Wicked Blaze of Draft. The problem is finding a turn where I'm allowed to let Cold Kalia die. The answer is the turn doesn't exist. Cold Kalia can never die, but eventually Cold Kalia has to die, and on that turn I die. Let's get rid of this. But like, she's there. She's 160 times 2 in them. She made it. If I can find a timing where Kokaili is allowed to die, or just draw in a way... Hmm. What are the odds that it's a problem if I let the Vengeful Shard swing hit me? I think it's pretty low. I don't think I have to care. Wow, Forgone Pilot. How crazy would it be if we pulled this off, though? This would be a fucking caper if we survived this. Oh my god, Mortal Entrapment again. Okay, hold on. I'm at 2 HP. I have I, I died of the steel wings coming up. Oh god, it's brutal. But every little bit counts. Cause like it's just every every round now is a little bit of health off of off of the divinity that he doesn't get back now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring back both drafts. And then look at the floors and go, yes, draft, go get him, king. And I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe a little bit. <laughs> I came into this with no hope. I'm starting to have a little bit of a belief. One, two, three, four, five, times five, it's fifty. If I play Shark on the mid floor, I will do 50 to these enemies. I'm going to play Shark on the bottom floor to kill the curses. The end. I'm going to Wicked Blaze back Dreg because hell yeah, Dreg, go get him, buddy. I think this is a win. I think we win it. I think the frostbite's going to be enough. Oh my god, we won this. That's unbelievable. This one? I played this run out fucking horribly. But... Hey, you know what? I guess a W's a W. Shout out to Lightskip for making this possible. Without Lightskip, there's no chance. No, no universe. But Lightskip's Cuddlebeard, Hot Shark. Okay. 
also mortal entrapment. There's no way this run should ever win. There is no, in, in no conceivable universe should that take home a W. I, I played this terribly. I, did I play this terribly? I could have played this better. What I needed to do to make this more, oh no, I, I spent my whole run, no, 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 you know, I'm, I'm discrediting myself. I spent my whole run looking for holdover Wicklash because two cold Kalias is meaningless if you don't have a way to keep them both burned out up or keep their burn out, burn out up. And so I spent my run looking for holdover Wicklash before the cold Kalia number two, and I never got it. Similar idea here, right? Shark, sure, second self-infused shark would have been good, but I was looking for the holdover Wicklash the entire time, and yeah, it never came. And so I don't think I played this run out terribly. I think I, pl I could have played smarter, but what I did is not that crazy. One holdover, and then it looks a lot better. But yeah, I didn't really think about a way to keep my Cold Kalia alive either. I guess I thought I was just going to reform her. But anyway... Important thing to remember here, though, this is what I want you to take away from this run, is that on the Divinity, if your plan for survival on your carry is they die to sweep and then I bring them back to life, uh, that plan's probably going to die because you're never going to have a turn off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.